May 7, 2012. This is Justice Done Dirt Cheap. We are outside the Justice Building. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. Would you like to be interviewed? I would. And what's your name? Sally Brooks. How are you doing today, Sally? I'm doing okay. I'm a little disturbed about uh, some issues going down in Fredericton, the ongoing Fredericton Police Force activity, um, particularly in respect to Charles LeBlanc, Section 301 charges. Uh, I am deeply disturbed that the Fredericton Police Force have not only gone to court, scheduled a court date, laid charges apparently against not only Charles but many other people without having done any diligent or completed investigation and without the Crown Prosecution Services having looked at their investigation report and approved the charges. We are told repeatedly by the Director of Public Prosecution Services and people like Mayor Brad Woodside that New Brunswick is a province where you cannot have charges laid in court, in provincial criminal court, unless the Crown has approved them. So I want to know why people like Charles, me, Andre Murray, Jen Wombolt and others are suddenly finding they are summoned to court to face charges before a Crown has even approved them, or that a Crown has approved them without there actually having been any valid grounds, and then we're left fighting in court. Because in this province you are not innocent until proven guilty, you are guilty until they can't backpedal and the court helps them find you guilty. So I'm very disturbed and I'm hoping Charles' case will put a spotlight on what the Fredericton Police Force, the courts and the Crown are doing, allowing the police to use the courts and Crown to harass people before they've even investigated anything, before there's even been any validation of wrongdoing. It's quite amazing that the, uh, the police can actually arrest someone just in the investigation part of it when they're just looking into it. Absolutely, and that's a charter violation. They have no right to do that on many levels, on many levels. It just seems to be that they've got away with doing things their way for too long, and it is my profound belief that the Frederick Police Force and the courts and the Crown keep the courts full of ordinary citizens to take the public eye off the real criminals who are actually already in the establishment. Okay, so that seems to be a misdirection. It absolutely does. It's a parlor trick. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, do you think there's a so you think there's going to be a positive repercussion from Charles LeBlanc being? Uh, what, I'm not sure the exact term. Did he? He's a He's acquitted of the charges. They never actually laid the, the charges. The charges were never even laid. The police somehow got him a court date, um, and the Crown had not approved prosecution. So effectively, they somehow got a court date um, without an information being laid. And that intrigues me because that's not what the criminal code says should happen. That's not what the Provincial Court Act says should happen. You have to lay an information and then be summoned to court on the charges. They do it all back to front, and I guess the police are just used to doing it that way and getting away with it. So it seems that if, if more people actually stood up and took them to task, then maybe they'd be doing their jobs correctly, and that's both the Crown and the Fredericton Police Force. Yes, my uh, other worry is that there are many people out there who can't do it for themselves, and they would have to rely on a very defective legal aid service and the legal aid service in New Brunswick is all about pleasing the Crown. It's not about protecting the individual. Yes. So it's not working on any level in New Brunswick and certainly not in Fredericton. Yes. Okay, any uh, final thoughts you'd like to share on that topic? I would just encourage people who are in a similar situation to get on the Justice Done Dirt Cheap website, speak to people, don't feel ashamed because it's not about you, it's about a very unjust justice system. And together we can help each other help ourselves. Yes. And uh, knowledge is power and information is key in this, in this battle for information where one uh, does not even realize they have so many rights until it's in, in explained to them. Yes, yes. And what we have is a province where the lawyers don't tell you those rights the lawyers do not protect those rights and lawyers are bound by the Law Society Act which is a public act because it's answerable to a Minister of Justice and their number one 
a number two duties under section 5A and B of the Law Society Act is to uphold the interests of justice and the public and to protect and uphold every person's rights and freedoms. That's the Charter. And Wonderful. Not doing it. And the other thing that people don't re even realize is that if one has a bad experience in court and you do not believe the judgment that the that the court rendered is valid or it should stand, then one can actually appeal the decision. Yes. Many people do not realize the appeal process and how to go about it. And the other thing is that if one is actually unhappy with the conduct of a judge, they can actually complain to the Canadian Judicial Council for um, for Superior Court judges such as the Court of Queen's Bench and That's Court of Appeal judges. And with the lower court, with provincial court, then they can uh, complain to the provincial equivalent of the Canadian Judicial Council. What is the name of that? The New Brunswick Judicial Council. And you would write to um, Michael Bray, the Registrar of the Court, who's also Secretary for the New Brunswick Judicial Council. And uh, what you'll find is they'll take about three months and then tell you there was absolutely nothing wrong. Um, and I'm now waiting to hear from them if I can appeal that decision, because you can also appeal quasi-judicial decisions, and that would be more administrative than judicial. Yes. So uh, there is still a repercussion for them. Okay, people need to know the relief that they can seek afterwards, after you've been before a judge and either had a decision you didn't like or you found the judge was, judge's conduct was questionable, then there's there's um, avenues one can take after the fact. So yes. all these um, different uh, aspects can be found on Justice Done Dear Cheap. We encourage everyone to go take a look at the blog and look through it. And if you have any questions, send it off to uh, to our email, justicedonedearcheap at gmail com, and we can uh, help direct you. And thank you, Sally, for providing information today and a, a viewpoint on current events. My pleasure. Thank you. It's May 7, 2012. We're in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Enjoying the uh, sun. Thanks all for watching. Have a great day.